I think you could actually hear is a serious screaming. I hand sanitized this paper, which just doesn't make any sense anyway. Let's just go. This is a crazy country, crazy people, crazy land. Since the whole, uh, this whole country is just occupied by military sites, military towns, and private or whatever, uh, every corner is just, you can't film here or there, it's just going to be sensitive. But in reality, you can't film anywhere. Uh, the parks are banned, so it's just people are using this tiny side green part of the road as a recreationist spot. Anyway, that's not my issue. Uh, right now, uh, I just went to the shopping, really quick shopping, just out of, uh, I mean, ordinary, unordinary, whatever. Uh, so I went to this uh, tiny mini mart, which surrounds by the Iranian military and the Iranian uh, president, so-called the president, which is not a president. You know that who's ruling this country anyway. So he just demanded uh, to everyone wear the mask. It's just, uh, I mean, the government is just fear-mongering over this coronavirus, and they have no solution. They have no, uh, you know. I mean, you read the news in just a tiny clinic, uh, 19 people just died out of their own stupidity of the uh, staffs in there. So not even uh, the Iranian medicals are just going to not help you, they're just going to make it even worse. Uh, I've said that years ago, if I crash on the road, no one is going to you know, come and help me or save my ass. Uh, both with these traffic jams or whatever, and another thing is just there's no uh, professional medical uh, staffs. Anyway, never mind. Uh, this is a UN, <laughs> like a, a guards are just uh, trying to make you people maintaining whatever and not uh, uh, burning the uh, bushes or whatever. Uh, but in reality, they just have to keep the people completely out of this uh, whole area but it's just, I mean the whole thing is just stupid I mean the park is closed that park right there but people can camp here so what's the difference nothing it's just everything is just for showmanship and the government just want to push it that way and so make it uh, with this fear mongering uh, they're gonna make it uh, uh, people just keep uh, uh, would uh, in a very weird way they would uh, calm people down so there would there would be no protesting no uprising due to the, uh, due to the recent uh, Iranian currency losing its value each by each day I mean seriously every day five percent ten percent is just losing its value and uh, it, this is going to be uh, like an, another Venezuela but never you mind uh, the Iranian government has uh, two cocky two cocky and think the American lefties are just gonna help them uh, to uh, for the next uh, election and they're, they don't want to negotiate with the Trump and uh, Trump knows how they're uh, uh, how to deal with these stupid people so this is gonna be really fun to see in November or even for that but for uh, today at the time I'm filming this right now in America people are uprising uh, burning the statues and uh, and toppling the statues and whatever and they're, they're expressing their own freedom of speech against the freedom of speech their lefties are just shutting everyone down don't talk don't do this don't do that we are the uh, our lives are matters not yours or whatever anyway but here you don't do any protest there's no protesting there's no uprising if you just say anything every uh, living with this under this totalitarian regime it just tells you and teach you uh, and subconsciously uh, you're they're going to turn you to another tiny little uh, dictator regime if you have any power on any individual even at your home you could dictate and you're going to dictate any stupid idea you think it is i just went to this uh, tiny mart and the guy had this uh, tiny visor in front of it and his face his eyes and he demanded me to just uh, having a uh, facial mask, but, uh, but I, uh, I forgot, I, I, I usually do, but uh, at that moment I just came out of a uh, long day, I forgot that, but uh, there was, it was at the last moment, there was no one inside the mart, uh, it was completely empty, it was at the last moment, the cashier just cleaning up, so I just go, I just want a quick shop, it's, I don't have any plan to do anything, I'm not going to even open my mouth or whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna browse and just give it and go. Just, just quick. Just one minute. Seriously, one minute. Literally. But he refuses. So not just with the words or whatever. He's just gone. He just blew up. I don't know what the hell happened in, uh, during this time. He served in there. He knows me at some point, and uh, I had some respect before that for them. But right now, I found out every individual in this country is a tiny little dictator, and they don't have a mindset. No one is arguing anything here. It's just a shipmanship. 
every individual in this country is a tiny little ship. He just follows some other ugly, stupid dictator or some individual or some companies or some regulation and they don't even question anything. They don't question why do we, why are we doing this? Why? Like, uh, do you remember that uh, Mr. Shaw, there was this uh, episode, uh, the, uh, the American wants to blow up the moon, but uh, at that moment there was this monkey asked everyone, why? Just why? Why do you want to blow that moon? It's, I'll just ask this guy, you have a visor, you don't have a mask, you have a visor, you live here, you work here, and you don't even have a mask, but you're demanding me, which I come just uh, for one minute shop, at the last moment, you're just demanding me to just wear the mask. What's the difference? Why do I have to do that? But there was, they're just gone crazy over that. I didn't, I just want to ask a question. There was no argue or whatever. I just want to know what comes to this mind. Literally, I really want to know what these stupid people actually think when they're just demanding or just saying something like this. Which you know, there's nothing backstory, but it is interesting if you actually see someone actually give you some hope. Actually, they're actually thinking. You know, if you're, if someone is evil, um, you would just say he's evil. He actually uh, think and he reacts on his belief. But if you just someone, his ship doesn't fall. He just follows on some order without even thinking before ha before that and analyzing anything. It would be just a stupid a stupidity of the whole thing. So I'll just say that. And uh, another guy come out of nowhere. You know, in this conversation, it was really short conversation. It was it wasn't even. 30 seconds or whatever so this guy coming you know when we demanded something you don't have to ask question it you don't get right to question our regulation when they say you don't uh, no mask no service or whatever so you don't come in here to just question but I didn't question I just say you don't have a mask okay I'm gonna wear a mask but you don't have a mask just just as that if there is a regulation so so you should have to follow that order too so why is that like that and this isn't the biggest issue in this land I'm just saying one of those uh, tiny um, uh, stupid things like you run in uh, cops just uh, pulling over and uh, seizing the bikes of the people who don't wear the uh, helmets motorcycle helmets but at the same moment no cops not even one stupid bike cops would ever wear a helmet when they do the service or just in the daily lives. They are bikers, they don't even have a license, they don't even have registration, nothing. They don't wear helmets, they ride like monkeys. But they have rights to seize your bike and confisc confiscate your bike. Anyway, so I just uh, said to that guy, if I have a voice there, if I can come here, would you let me in? You're just breathing the air. You're just breathing the air. That visor doesn't do anything. He said, no, the doctor said it's okay. Uh, every doctor on TV says, okay, I don't know who the hell told him or what the hell he's saying. Uh, even this Iranian stupid doctor won't say something like that. He was just confused with many things or just like any other guy who doesn't have a logic or whatever. So I just had my full face helmet, which I really proud of I'm the only one who's wearing this stupid things for years as you saw my videos no one has this full face helmet you see this bike here that bike here no one wear the helmet so I just had my uh, full face helmet and on and uh, um, you know have a tight strap tight and strap it up and just went inside and say this is okay so this is okay I'm uh, without with without corona with um, winter or summer or whatever even under 40 degrees temperature which right now is humid and he heat and humid right now in Tehran which I'm wearing this 24-7 uh, if I have any plan to ride a bike so, so I'm just used to this and which is gonna be really I mean I had it with me so uh, I could check uh, I could just actually use it and uh, wear that thing and just went inside but the conversation didn't even uh, finish right I just finished because I know that you can't put any mind into this you can't even put any sense into this brain of uh, one cell of the brain of him uh, anyway uh, so I didn't even uh, talk to this guy anymore anymore but he was just furious he's just blown up and just uh, why why these people are just coming here and saying this or that I, I didn't even answer for them uh, you know this typical guys like this but he it wasn't just one guy another cashier just joined in and another one joined in and I got used to this and uh, after 40 years and 50 years and uh, living like this this society is just gone banana I mean uh, this is an absolute big huge mental hospital I'm not joking I'm just uh, I'm not exaggerating it actually is a mental hospital 
and you can talk to anyone you can put any uh, you can even start any stupid conversation with the people there's no nothing goes into their mind you can't even uh, you know I mean if you're left you're right you could actually talk right now the US is becoming like Iran every country is becoming like Iran instead of the Iran is torn into the US or any other freedom of uh, kind of free speech or democratic uh, country or democratic nations the, ho the whole world is turning to Iran every single uh, the freedom of speech is dead you can't talk to anyone I mean yeah, the, the PC policy is just uh, lashing you out and just uh, turning you away you could lose your job you could lo lose your life over this stupid conversation and it is come is it has become uh, really normal all over the world and people actually think this is a uh, this is a new thing and uh, um, you know the American media the NBC CNN many other these websites are just uh, turning the whole country to a new face the face of the shut option the face of the Iranian style of the governing and society just one single uh, fat Dumbass is just say something and the rest of the people are just listening to that narrative and single narrative is just becoming popular. This is fucking stupid. We should just stop it. I don't but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I have to go and wash the bike or whatever, lots of things is going on. And every corner of this fucking country is military, so I have to shut down the camera over and over.